In the previous tutorial in this sequence, I showed you how to convert a smooth point to a corner point. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to convert a corner point to a smooth point. And I'll give you a practical example of how you might use this feature. I'll show you how you might begin to build the cruise liner in this illustration. There are clickable links to the other tutorials in this sequence of tutorials on paths and points in the show more extended description below this movie. I'll start by hiding some of the existing layers to clear the decks by clicking the visibility icons, the eye in the leftmost column of the layers panel. Let's start with the Royal Barbados logo. I'm using the selection tool I'll click on the logo to select it, then I'll do Control plus, that's Command plus on the Mac, to zoom in specifically on the selected object. Now I want to work with the Direct Selection tool. I'll click on it to select it. I want to take a look at this anchor point at the tip of the waveform. When I click on the anchor point to select it, you'll see the two direction handles that control the shape or curvature of the incoming and outgoing curve segments. If I drag either of these direction points, you'll see that I've got complete independent control over each one. So I've established it's a corner point, although that was pretty obvious from its shape. If I want to convert this from a corner to a smooth point, I would select the anchor point tool from the pen tool group. And for this operation, I position my cursor very carefully on the anchor point, then press and drag. If you drag in the wrong direction initially and you get a twist in the path, don't panic. Keep your finger on the mouse button and just move it back around in the other direction. That's it, this is now a smooth point. If I want to make further edits to this as a smooth point, I'd go back to the Direct Selection tool and make any changes as required. I'll just undo that a few times with Command or Control Z to get back where I started. And now let's apply a slight variation of that technique to creating the hull of my ocean liner or cruise ship. In the Layers panel, I'm just going to hide the logo layer and make another layer I've got set up, the active layer. I'm going to start by drawing a square. I'll select the rectangle tool, bring my cursor back into the artboard, hold on shift key to constrain the shape, press and drag, release the mouse before I release the shift key. I'll just give that a fill and go to the properties panel, click on fill and I'll choose a grey. Now I'm going to select the Direct Selection tool so that I can work directly with the anchor points that form this path. I'll select the top right hand corner point, then press and drag that inward, and that's OK. This anchor point is a kind of corner point, it's just that it joins two straight line segments as opposed to curve segments. I'll convert this to a smooth point by selecting the Anchor Point tool. Then I'll press and drag on the anchor point I just moved. Now it's the same routine, get into the habit of going back to the Direct Selection tool to make any further edits to get the shape you want. I'll go with that for now. To finish, I'll just show you how such a simple idea, a square with one corner converted to a smooth point, can become the basic building block for an ocean liner. I'll go back to the Selection tool make sure that that object is selected. Then I'll do Control C or Command C on the Mac to make a copy. Then I'll use Edit, Paste in back, notice the keyboard shortcut, Control B or Command B. Then I'll just drag the center top handle up. I'll go to Fill in the Properties panel and select a different fill color. Repeat the process. Control C, Control B, Drag the top handle upward, change the colour.
there's a fairly thick stroke on these objects. Currently, I could easily do a marquee select of those three objects and bring the stroke back to none. And that's as far as I'm going to take my boat building in this tutorial. I'll hide the layer I'm working on and I'll go back to the layer that I had showing at the beginning. I'll work with the direct selection tool and just click on this upper deck area and you'll see that that is another repeat of the original shape, scaled non-proportionally, as are the funnels. So one basic shape and a point converted to a smooth point forms the basic building blocks for a lot of this illustration. So come and join me on my Adobe Illustrator cruise. Click the subscribe button below. And if you like, like the like. Thanks for watching. Bon voyage.